How can my mistake help you save time, money, and frustration? The answer to that question will be found in this daily dose of public speaking wisdom. I really don't want to make this video, but if I'm going to be authentic and be an honest and open coach with you for these presentation and speaking tips, I have to share this video. What am I talking about? A few months ago, I created a first version of a product, an online product. It's all about presentation skills, and it helps you go through the mindset, the, the material, and delivery of presentations. In crafting the title of this course, I absolutely fell in love with the title, Stand Up, Speak Up, Stand Out. My thought process was, if I can convince people to get past their nerves and stand up, that's creating a positive mindset, to speak up, to share an idea, then they will stand out from the crowd. There's alliteration. It's simple. The words are short. I just love this title. I did get a limited amount of feedback from people, and generally speaking, it was, hey, that's really good. I like it. Then, recently, I went to my professional advisors, my mentors, my coaches, and I shared the title. And here's what I got back. My mentor, Darren who's a former comedian, took one look at the title and said, oh, are you creating a course about stand-up comedy? Oh, my heart sank. Another mentor asked, who is your target audience? And I said, well, one of my markets that I want to work with is CEOs. And he said, that you, do you know that CEOs really don't want to stand out when they stand up and speak? They just want to get the message across and move on to the next thing. They are concerned about time. My heart sank even further. I realized I'd made a huge blunder in promoting this program to the target market I'm going after. My title does not resonate with them. In fact, it creates confusion. I've been doing this a long time as a coach and a presenter and an author, and I'm still making mistakes. And guess what? I'm like everybody else. <laughs> the point of this video is, first of all, don't beat yourself up if you keep making mistakes because even qualified people do it. Secondly, get out of your head and ask for qualified feedback. Go to the people who've been down this road. I've said this before in other videos. We are each blind to our own stories, our speeches, our own material. We put our heart and soul into it. We get these great ideas and we fall in love with them. And that's the problem. Sometimes love hurts. <laughs> Love hurts here because I got a title that's not working. I've got to scrap it. I'm not scrapping the whole course. In fact, the, the work I have to do to correct this is not major other than finding a title that resonates with people and inspires them to take a further look into investing in the course. Please, please, please learn from my mistake. Be willing to get honest feedback so that you can create a message that resonates with others so they will take the action that's in their best interest. If you'll excuse me, I've got a title to work on. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.